This is the most recent EcoScore that I'm working on. This is Ecology Symphony and EcoScore for Threatened and Endangered Animal Species. So here, this one is, I haven't notated what instrument it's for. It, it's open instrumentation. This one might be purely representational or symbolic, more of a visual piece than intended to be played uh, sonically. Um, so each, each movement is in honor of, at least at this point, 10 threatened and endangered species. And what I'm attempting to do is to have the, each of the score for each of the animals, or the movements for each of the animals, be a representation or look like the animal. So obviously I've made the note heads to try and look like uh, here a panda face and uh, the staff, the five notes, instead of being black, I've made it green for like bamboo, what pandas eat. Uh, tiger is obvious. Polar bear, the, the staff is melting or falling apart as the ice is melting with global warming causing issues for polar bears. Uh, this is actually the shape. This, this I found fascinating. I was going to do a leatherback turtle. And as I got this image off of the internet, to me, this looks like music, notes. This is a little eco score I did just last year in honor of our daughter Zadie's school. So the first movement is planting seeds of peace. And I actually, instead of writing, um, with pen onto paper, I used sunflower seeds and made the sunflower seeds the notes. So you could play that again. It's, it's avant-garde, it's abstract, it's non-traditional um, how you would play that, but the note heads are sunflower seeds. Second movement is a lament for insects, adagio at dusk. So there is a little melody that I've written here, but then if you see there's little um, dots or green insects. But the note heads could be in six too. The third movement, ancient seed dance. Um, that's just a rhythm that I've set up that uh, one person can play. You have corn rattle shaker in one hand and a, a pack of organic seeds in the other and just play that particular rhythm. And then the flower power chords are flower seeds that I've just um, glued on to the paper and they're like chord clusters. Um, and again, the flower seeds become the notes and become the music. So what I'm trying to do here is to talk about the importance of silence is a music, that nature is music, that all, all creatures make music, that music is what unifies us and what makes us need to respect each other. <laughs>